Hey, welcome back to the third video in the RPG stats series. And in this video, we're finally going to be extending the RPG stat class with our first new uh, stat type. Uh, this stat type will be uh, used for a bunch of the later stats I'll be showing you because this one is going to be our uh, modifiable stat type which will handle pretty much all the modifiers. And since uh, Michael with the remaining stats that we'll be creating, they all will be able to be modified by other stats. So everyone will be inheriting from this one class. So let's begin. Inside our Unity scene, we're gonna be creating a new folder within our RPG systems. And I'm gonna be calling this uh, interfaces. And within here, we will create a new C sharp script. And oops. One second. I did not mean to leave it as new behavior. Now let me try that again. Create a C sharp script. And I will be calling this ice that modifiable. And let's open this straight up. And in here, we'll remove all the methods. And this is not going to be a class, so we don't need to inherit from mono behavior. And we'll just change this over to an interface. For this interface, we're going to just have a few different values in here. We're going to have a property called stat modifier value. And this will only be able to get the value. You won't be able to set it. And down here, we'll add three methods that all classes inheriting from this interface will be required to use. We'll have void add modifier. And let's see. Oh, we haven't created this class for this, but this is going to be RPG stat modifier. And I'll just call this mod. We're going to have also clear modifier or modifiers and void update modifiers. And this is what every class that wants to be modifiable must implement. So we can easily access these values from any class and checking if they can be modified. Back to the Unity scene, we're going to be getting this error since we have not created the class yet. So let's create another folder here. And I'm going to call this modifiers. And in here, we will create our extremely basic modifier. And I'll call this RPG stat modifier. Open this up. And let it all. Now, this is going to be a little bit. Kind of filling, so we'll go run through this. Um, this isn't going to be inheriting from mono behavior. It's just going to be its own class, so we can re also remove all these methods within it. Um, each modifier will be applied to uh, the stat in different ways. So to tell how a modifier is going to be applied to the stat, we're going to create a enum called types. So this will be stat modifier types that you can uh, use within your code when setting these up. And the way I have it, I always have a none for basic. And but we have base value percent, base value add, total value percent, and total value add. And let me fix my spelling. But for me, we're going to have our base value, which we have in our stat. And how I do this is we're going to do adds first, followed by percentages. So we'll take the base value, add anything with this type to it, and then we'll take that total sum and then get a percentage of that and add that onto the sum of the adds. And then we'll do the same with the total values 
from whatever we got from the previous calculations. But you'll see how we'll set that up once we create our class in a little bit in this video. Next, we'll create a couple of private fields, and this will be types. Oops. Types, and this will be the type. Private float, and this will be value. And another private RPG stat type. This will be the stat that it's uh, attached to, I believe. Stat type. And we can create our properties. So public types of type to our getter and setters. I'm just going to copy and paste this to make three for our next ones, and we'll just quickly fill these out so we don't spend too much time here. Okay, and then we'll just end up this class with two constructors for it. So RPG stat modifier, this will be empty, and RPG stat modifier, RPG stat type, and target stat type, um, mod type, and int value, or float value. And then we'll just fill these out with uh, their starting value equals types dot none value equals zero and stat type equals RPG stat type dot none. This is why I like creating uh, the none type in my enum so I can initialize everything to nothing and know when they're not initialized. And target type or type equals mod type, stat type equals target stat, and value equals value. This is all our modifiers are gonna be. Just a type of type, a value, and the stat it's gonna be applied to. Now we'll jump back into Unity, and we will jump over to creating our um, new stat, which is going to be called RPG stat modifier or modifiable. And I'm going to also create a new folder, toss this in, and I'm going to be calling this uh, stat types. <laughs> this will be what we'll toss any class that inherits from RPG stat into. So RPG stat. Modifiable. Open it up, up. And in here, this is going to not be a mono behavior, but we're going to be inheriting from our RPG stack class. And to get this up, we'll just start implementing from top down. First off, we have our uh, interface that we'll be inter inheriting from as well. So we'll do that. And I'm going to implement the interface. If you don't have that fetch feature, you get to type it all out. So you can see all of this as we go. Before we get to uh, implementing those methods, we'll start at the top. And our Stat modifier is going to have a list of all the modifiers. A list of all the uh, modifiers that are going to be affecting the actual class value. And I'm just going to call it uh, stat mods. Um, to get the list, we're going to be using system.generics. So you'll have to be adding that to the top of your class. 
And also in here, I'm going to have a private int called stat mod value. And this is what we're going to be uh, assigning value to behind the scenes in this class. Um, we're also going to be overriding our uh, stat value. So we'll do the override int of our stat values get. Clean this up a bit. I don't need multiple lines. And in here, we're going to be returning the base stat value. But as well as that, we're going to be adding on our stat mod value. Actually, we can do the property. So the modifiable stat value is going to be the base value plus whatever our modifier value is. And in our stat modifier value property, we can come in here, remove this throw exception, and replace it with return stat mod value. And, oops, semicolon at the end of that. Next, I'm just going to create a simple constructor for this modifiable. This will be take no parameters, and all it will do is be setting the stat mod value to zero, and the stat mods will be assigning it to a new list of stat modifiers. And finally, we'll just step through these last three uh, methods. The add modifier is extremely simple. We're just going to do add stat mods dot add. And we're going to add the uh, modifier that we passed. Clear modifier is pretty much the same. We're just going to call the built-in methods of the list. Just call the clear method to remove all stats from the list. So you're not going to be uh, removing modifiers from this. You're going to clear all of them and then just add back the ones you want. You could clean this up and add a remove later on, but this is simple enough for the time being. Now, the other method, I'm going to implement my whole idea behind calculating the stat mod value. So this is going to be kind of a lengthy method. First off, when we update our value, we're going to do our value to zero. And then we're going to have four additional uh, variables here to hold our values while we calculate it. So we're going to go stat mod base value add so zero float stat mod base value percent zero and then I'm just going to copy paste these for the other two and just replace the base with total and then we have those four. Now the next step of this is we're going to be looping for through each RPG stat, uh, stat modifier, uh, mod in our stat mods list. And I'm going to set up a quick switch statement on the mods type. And we'll just step through and create all the cases. Uh, base value add. I'm just going to set this up wonky so I can copy paste real quick. And then I can do a quick total percent replacement. And then I'm just going to step through and do new lines. There we go. Now we have a case for each of our types. So if you add a new type, you could do this as well, or you can change how you calculate your modifiers. But in here, I'm just going to do stat mod base value add plus equals mod dot value. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do for each of these. So I'll just copy paste and then rename them to whatever they need to be for the individual 
Case. Okay, there we go. So this will add in all the mods into these variables that we assigned up on top. And then next step is going to be actual calculating of the stat mod value. So first off, the stat mod, oops, stat mod value, I mean, will be assigned to the, well, first step, stat base value. We're going to get we're going to add on to that our <coughs> actually wait. I think I just mentioned this earlier in the inverse. I'm actually going to take the percentage of the base value first and then add on to our add value. So our stat base value times our stat mod base value percentage. So this will find a percent of our base value to get. Then we'll add on to that step mod base value add. Oops. Add. And this will take the percentage of our base value and then we'll add an amount to it. And also our Mod values are all going to be integers, so we'll just typecast this to an int. And that will get our new mod value. The next step would be take our stat mod value and add on top of that. Well, we'll be taking our stat value. And remember, the stat value here, if we come up here, this is going to be our base value plus our modifier value. So since at this point, our mod value is this whole equation right here, this will be our stats base value plus what our mod value is currently. So we'll take the percentage of that. Oh, that'll be total percent. And then we're going to add on top of that our stat mod total add to get that value. And we're also typecast this. So that's all it works. So at the end of this method, our stat mod value will be the totals of all of our values, which we've added previously. Oh, had a semicolon at the end of that before it calls an error. And that's going to be all we have in our first stat modifiable class. So we can jump back to Unity. And we're going to test this out real quick. We'll jump into our RPG stack, stack test. And we'll just run through this real quick and add our new checks. So previously, before this, I found a new method just to clean up our test just a little bit. So this will just be an extra extended feature. We're going to be uh, using some loan tricks. <coughs> but in, down here, we're going to create another method real quick. I'm just going to call this for each enum. And it'll be a generic method with the parameter t. And it will take an action of t. So in here, we're going to check if the action is not equal to null. We're going to do pretty much what we have up here. So we can copy paste this, our for each loop. And instead of types here, we're going to do types of t. Since t is going to be the enum that we pass into the function or method. And then this will just do for each over all our stat types from that past enum. And in here, we'll just do action. And we'll type cast set type and pass it into the action. So this will loop through every single enum inside of this and pass it to the action. 
So up here, we no longer need this. And we can go for each enum of RPG stat type as the generic parameter. And we can do a lambda method. So first off, we'll do two parentheses. And inside here, we're going to do stat type. And then we're going to do an equals arrow with two curlies. Second curly is going to end down here at the end. So we already have one here. And then a parenthesis to close the for each method and a semicolon. So what this will do is we're passing this lambda method right here into our for each uh, function. So it will go through and call this method each time for each enum value within the enum that we pass. So pretty much this is just a fancy for each loop. Just to simplify some stuff so we don't have to write a lot of crap all the time. So this will do exactly the same thing as previously. I'm just going to add another method down here and this will be display um, stat values. And I'm just going to toss this whole thing I wrote there down here, just so I can clean up my method. And I don't have to write as much code later on. Now in here, I'm just going to take a var health, and this will be equal to stats dot get stat. And we're going to do RPG stat modifiable. And we're going to do stat type dot health. So we'll get the stat type as a RPG stat modifiable. Now in here, we're going to do health dot add modifier, new stat modifier, and we'll do all of this fun stuff. Ooh. May have to go back and create some additional code because some of this may be obsolete since we don't really need to know the type of the modifier. Or I believe, and we'll see. I forget exactly how I implemented this, but it's all fun. And then we'll do the set modifier types, and this will just be how about we just add to the base value. And we'll just add, like, let's say 50. And now once you're all done adding modifiers, you would do update modifiers to call and it will calculate the new value. And then we'll do display. Oh, that was right. Display stat values again. And then we'll call this and print it out again. So if we do this all right now, I believe we might get an error or nothing will happen. All reference exception. That makes sense. And why would this be happening? Because health is not actually an RPG modifiable class. To change this, we will jump over to our RPG default stats, come up here to health and change our generic parameter from RPG stats to RPG stat modifiable. And now our health can be modified. So we'll jump back into Unity, clear our console, and then run it again. And here, if you look at the outfit, our health is 100 at the start. And then we do our adding of the modifier, and it's 150 now. Cool. So the modifier is actually affecting this. Now we can jump back into our test. I'm going to copy this modifier and do a little bit of extra stuff. So we'll also do dot base value percent. And for percentages, if you're not usually used to this, we're gonna be using 1.0 as 100% of the base value. So we'll do this, and since this has to be floats, we'll add the Fs, or else it confuses and thinks we have doubles. But we will do this. So we'll take 100% of the base value, and then we'll add 50, because that's the order operations we did in our update modifiers method. So this final value, based off the previous one, 
start off at 100, and then we should go to 250. So it looks like that's working. I'm going to jump back and do one additional test. Copy and paste a new line. This time, I'm going to take total percent. Now, if you can calculate this, it'll be fun. I'm going to also reorder this in the way they'll be applied. So this should, L starts off at 100. This should bring it up to 200. This should bring it up to 250. And this should take 100% of the total of the base value or the total value. So this should jump up to 500 if everything's applying correctly. So back in the Unity, we'll run this one more time and check if this functions correctly. And there we go. We're up to 500 like we thought. So this modifier is functioning correctly, and that's with how you would assign everything. Later on, we'll set it up more fancy-like so you don't have to type in every single one that way. But that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be adding an additional uh, level to right after our stat modifier class. We'll add a, another class that will be kind of interesting, kind of simple, but it will be very useful for uh, certain cases. Well, until next time, hope this video was helpful. See you next.